Hello again, GB. Talking about the game, episode two. Here's something that I haven't heard said very much, but it's very true. Sometimes this applies right across the board to all disciplines, wherever you have to create something from scratch. Sometimes, if you're really in touch with what you want to do and you're really in, you, you, you're really fully in the flow of what you of, of what you're trying to create. You're really in touch with the source of where all that's coming from within you or through you. Um, you will sometimes be sent ideas that are that you're not ready to do yet. You'll be sent things that are for 10 years down the line. Yeah. I've been sent ideas just out of the ether. I get ready. For example, I'm not, I'm not much of a, a story writer. But I'm always getting ideas for stories. And... I'm slowly having to learn either through collaborating with people who are much better at it than I am or by study or by reading more, absorbing more stories and more stories that I'm not ready to write them yet. I don't have all the skills necessary to write them or to take the stories to their natural conclusion, but I'm also, when I get them, I'm not going to deny them either. I'm going to, I'm going to put them away in that little bank and go, okay, you know, I've, I've had, Ideas for songs come to me three, four years, sometimes more, sometimes six, seven years before my voice is mature enough to be able to deliver them properly. I'm, I'm now going back through a bunch of old stuff that I wrote with Nathan, um, who, who produces all my, work, my solo stuff. I, you know, some, some of it's four or five years old. And I can hear what I was trying to do, but I didn't have, didn't have the voice for it yet. Didn't quite have what was I wasn't at the stage yet where I could deliver it in the way I wanted to. Uh, and I know that because I'm hearing the, the 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 versions that I did at the time. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm just two or three steps out of reach. Now that I'm looking back on those steps, of course, I can see what they are. But at the time, all I could sense was that I was trying to do something and I couldn't quite get it. I guess what I want to say to you is if you're like a creative person and you're, and you're listening to this, if for any reason you put any credit in what I say, I don't know why you would. But if you... Uh, don't, don't be afraid of those ideas. If an idea comes to you and it's too big for you yet, if it's if you're not ready, you don't quite have the skills to deliver it yet, don't discount it. Do what you can do. Do as much as you can do with it. Okay, sorry, it's my kids having their dinner in the background, if you can hear something. Um, take it as far as you can. Acknowledge that you've arrived at the limit of your skills as they currently stand, but acknowledge that that's not always going to be your limitations. Your limitations now are not the limitations that you'll have in 10 years. So... Um, put it in the bank take the idea put it as far as you can stick it away somewhere because your older self will thank you you know you 10 years from now that, that has got the experience to write that properly and that can come back to those characters and understand them or that can come back to that song and sing it with more experience or with a, with a, a, a better more rehearsed vocal style or that story that now you are experienced enough as a person to write or that drawing that you are, or that piece of art that you want to do, that you are now skilled enough to do, but that you weren't at the time. Your future self will thank you. Not all the ideas you're going to get are for now. Some of them are for later. And um, I guess what I want to say is don't discount them. A big part of the game is learning when to put stuff in the bank and when to cash in on it. And it's not always about the idea that's for the now. Some of the best ideas will come for, for later. And they're important too. So um, just because an idea is too big for you now, it doesn't mean it always will be. Just because you don't have the skills to execute something the way you want to execute it now, doesn't mean you will not always have those skills. So bear that in mind. This is coming from someone who's right now very fruitfully, creatively cashing in on some stuff that I did years before I was able to really deliver it the way I could deliver it now. Now I can. It's coming through. So that's uh, why we're feeling revived. Peace. Hope you're enjoying talking about the game. Please keep sharing these little insights if they're of use to you. Um, have a great weekend. Chat soon.